Now, tomorrow is set to be one of the hottest days of the year for many people in Britain, but it's not going to last. The cold weather will soon be back. Today, a group of the UK's leading scientists and meteorologists have been meeting at the Met Office in Exeter to try to work out what's been going on with our weather. Take, for example, the big freeze of December 2010, which saw the lowest temperatures in 100 years. And these were familiar scenes on Britain's beaches last year as we lived through the second wettest summer since records began. And after a freezing winter, spring brought no respite, just some of the lowest springtime temperatures in 50 years. So is it just a natural cycle or a dramatic shift in world weather patterns? John Kay is in Exeter for us now. John. Yes, yeah, Sophie, maybe they should have one of these meetings every day because as soon as scientists arrived here for this summit today, the sun came out, the skies were blue and it's been absolutely glorious. But, you know, they weren't here just to talk about today's weather or even this week, this month. They were here to talk about the weather, the freaky conditions of the last couple of years. Nothing says British summertime like strawberries and nothing says 2013 more than this. The coldest spring in 50 years means they're late, very late. The first week in June is the, is the beginning of the pick your own season and we, we keep saying sort of in a fortnight's time, in a fortnight's time. It's not just the very recent weird weather. The last few seasons have seen one extreme after another. A year ago it was drought, only to be followed by the wettest summer on record an exceptionally cold winter. And then, a month ago, in the middle of May, snow in the southwest. Today, scientists gathered at the Met Office in Exeter to ask what is going on. Is it just a run of bad luck or is man-made climate change to blame? They looked at new data from melting ice caps and examined the temperature of the oceans. They talked about activity on the sun and the jet stream which carries our weather across the Atlantic. This evening they came back with their conclusion. At the moment we really can't say. I know it's a disappointing answer for you, it's a disappointing answer for scientists to have this kind of uncertainty about what's going on. But I want to emphasise that in order to address that question, we need to know what's loading the dice for the position of the jet stream. Then we can begin to investigate how that loading of the dice might change under a changing climate. They say some of the new science is exciting and could provide answers in the future. But first, more research is needed. You don't need fancy computers, though, to analyse the weather. Ice cream will do. Here, unused lolly sticks act as thermometers. At this factory in Bristol, the lolly making machine is hardly being used, and the owner would like to know when things are going to change. On a normal summer, you'd expect it to be running five to six days a week, but the last couple of summers, it's only been running two or three days a week, just because of the lack of demand due to the bad weather. A welcome bit of sunshine in Exeter this afternoon while the scientists were meeting nearby. But it's the waters of the Atlantic experts are focusing on now to find out if and when the great British summer will return. Until then, better take a brolly. Well, intriguingly, as scientists left their meeting here this evening, they said they have seen possible signs, glimpses, that maybe we are beginning to emerge from a 10 to 20 year period of bad weather. Only glimpses, more research needed, but 